So, stage eight, we have some hills. 160k, so it's fairly short. Let's see. Let's see if the, the sprinters can get there. I think Dagenkolb can get over that hill. Yeah, I think Tank. I think he will. And especially with form like that. Look at this form right here. Wow, you've got to take that, haven't you? Unreal form for our guys. We'll just uh, take position. So we could have done with that plus one yesterday, couldn't we, on uh, Richie? Damn, that is some insane form. Machete as well. Oh my words. This is a disaster. What just happened? Out of nowhere, we were cruising along. And uh, this stage has just taken a turn for the worst. Taken a turn for the worst. I was just looking at the chat and uh, I I've got a bad habit of doing that, I've realised. Just looking at the chat. Luckily, it looks like Damar and uh, the FDJ team are here. Ala Philippe has fallen as well. So the red jersey is down. This is a massive moment right here. So the red jersey is down. Shackman is down. The white jersey. Right. I'm just going to pause briefly to make sure I'm doing this correctly. Okay. I think we can recover this. Luckily, it's before that final big climb. And so there is a bit of pacing going on by Lotto. Despite the leader, uh, the leader being down, Alaphilippe, would be a bit controversial if it was uh, Jumbo Visma. But you can see, I think uh, Quickstep would do the job and bring us back in with uh, some good time ahead of that final climb. There you go. We're back in. Panic over. That could have been a, a very bad moment indeed. So I'll grab some water whilst we're here. Let's get back in position, shall we? Oh, Brampy has fallen now. Quintana's fallen. Oh, it's all happening here, guys. Brambia, Jack Haig and Quintana have fallen. Oh, thank God we're able to continue. And I'm just going to sit in. Quintana is fourth here in the GC. Haig is, what, 20 seconds. I can't wait for them, can I? This was, this was the moment we planned to accelerate anyway. This is so. This is such a Movistar Tour de France moment when, or, or sorry, Vuelta moment in this Vuelta when they accelerated despite uh, Primoz Roglic falling. Damn, what a moment. What a moment right here. Over the top at maybe 90 or 85. Um, and potentially, I don't think we're going to... Have we dropped Caleb Ewan or Grunewagen? I doubt it. Perhaps the pace wasn't quite there. Let's see. See where they are. So, Yumbo Visma. Um, so, Ewan is still here, sadly. Hmm. Can't really pace with John, can I? Difficult one. It's a difficult one. Yeah, so Bass, we're in the first season and we came... We, Balcom Olimar has had an, in, an incredible season. He has won, He came third at the Giro. He was only about 50 seconds down on the, on the win. Of course, very unlucky in that one. Apart from that, uh, we've had some good results with Molimer. We came, I think, sixth at the Tour with Port. Um, Molimer's won races like Exulia, he won Strada Bianca. Uh, so it's been, it's been a good season, I would say. Not spectacular just yet. We're hoping to change that though with a uh, port at this one. Papoot, thank you. Uh, thanks for following, mate. I believe it is. I spoke to Baz yesterday on uh, Twitter. So I appreciate you dropping by, mate. Feeling pretty hopeful here. 8k to go. Hopefully we have a chance at the stage. Although saying that, King Peter's still here, so it's going to be a difficult one. It's going to be a difficult one. Oh, I think we're going to have to do this. Don't really want Conchi leading out Dagenkolb. Oh, this is going to be really difficult. I mean, Moschetti's still here. Is he the sprinter? Let's see. Into the final now. 
We do have a downhill, but then it's uphill to the line. Let's see what we can do. Dame Cole can sprint. I'm sketty now as well. Can we take this stage, guys? It's going to be close. I've maybe gone too early. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I've bottled, I've bottled it. I've bottled it. Matthews takes it. Oh, no. Muschetti was third. Shackman second. Dane Cole only sixth. That is so disappointing. Oh, dear. Anyhow, I think we might have some, some gaps behind. Oh, damn. That was really bad. Went way too early on that hill. Damn, look at this stage. Stage 9, 96k, and this is about to explode, I think. Hopefully we get some good form with uh, Richie, but I'm not expecting it. So, many plus threes. Port gets a plus three. Oh, that is perfect. That is absolutely perfect. I'm going to try and go in the break as well. I've just paused it briefly. Sorry about that. Let's go like this. Lopez and Brambilla, I think. Good shouts. Of course, Brambilla looking for that KOM jersey. Wait for him for attacking. Right, here we go. I think Brambilla can attack first and then Lopez maybe follow. Here we go. Hmm. Yeah, it's a really hard pace. Really, really hard pace. Brambilla looks okay though. 5Ks go to the top. So I did mention that Movistar documentary. Have you guys watched it? Um, I think I mentioned it before, but try and, let's try and go for those points. Nieve's going for them. Follow him. Trying to tap past him. Brambilla going for some big points. 10 points available here. Oh, it's going to be really close, but we're going to just miss out. I think we've got third in the end. Second, six points, up two thirds. We're closing in on that jersey with uh, Gianluca. But main, the main thing is Port looks good. Port looks good. I don't really know why they don't want to work. 6K, the, Brit the Peloton are coming, to be fair. And John Danekolb, what a race he is having. Okay, more attacks now. We'll just pace our way up at 78, see if we can stay ahead of the Peloton. Don't think we'll be able to. And yeah, this is such a tough stage. It's probably one of the queen stages of this race, so trying to be careful. And John is now done, but what a performance by, by big John here. We are catching them, to be fair. We'll see if we can challenge for some points. Because 15 available at this climb, we do need to try and take some if, if possible. Pace the slow here now. Okay, we're back in this group. 3k to go and 15 points. I think the winner of this climb has a great chance of going into that KOM jersey. But let's see, let's be careful. There's 24 riders in the peloton. 25. Right, I'm going to up this. I've maybe gone too early. And you can see Nieve attacks. Let's go 85. I'm not going to attack with them. I think, I think they're going to be too tired, surely. Surely they're going to be too tired for that. As Conchi is done, look at the Peloton. There's nothing left. Damn, this is so tough. Yeah, think tank. You're right. So Tano Kanga takes those points, and we will just get just about get second with Brambia. I do believe we go into the KOM jersey there, so got to love that. And there's there's twenty riders in this group. I can't believe it. Okay, okay. This is really really tough, as I've said many times, but. Struggling to manage this, to be fair. Dunbar at the back. Some good riders. Mike Woods. Yeah. James Knox. Tough stage. Tough, tough stage. And I think I'll try and keep Brambeer ahead. And then potentially drop him to help Richie in a bit. Later in the stage. But obviously I'm going to try and do that at some point. So the final climb has begun really, not quite, but pretty much uphill from here. As there are attacks, 
And considering Conchi's state, I think we'll just wait for Richie now with uh, Brambia. Potentially the best thing. So I can see we've got 15 viewers. Thanks for coming, guys. Hope you've had a fantastic day. We're currently in stage nine of La Vuelta. And young Richie Port is looking for a good stage here in the mountains. Brambia will protect him, though, at this point. And you can see that this is the Peloton. It's absolutely shredded right now. Uh, Pim, I use the World DB. It's the 2019 DB, which you can probably tell from like Dan Martin at UAE. But the stats should be somewhat updated to the 2020 DB. So, for example, Pogachar is really strong. I don't think he's at this race, but you get the you get the picture. And Shackman also very good. Right. Okay. So we've got Brambia here. 16 riders in this peloton. Alaphilippe's still here. So I'm going to try and hit this little end of the climb on 75. Kanga looking very strong. Because I would like to see some more guys go out the back here if possible. So Van Baal's gone, Soler's gone. Oh, Dan Martin's struggling. Potentially a surprise. Okay, let's just this up. Try and recover now. So crunch. It's crunch time. Oh, here we go. This is. I remember this stage now. This is the stage where they lost TV footage. If you guys remember, and Roglic fell, and then Lopez fell. It was a crazy stage. So thirteen riders now. Hindi's gone. Martin has gone. And up the roads, Tanel Kanga could be going for the stage here. Can Richie Port do anything in the GC though? I think we're we're looking okay. I think we're looking okay. Peo Bilbao on the attack. Let's go 75. Not too worried about Bilbao. He is seventh. He is the GC guy. Um, but we'll pace at 75 with Port. Don't want to push things too much. And there you go, he's caught. I think we can even go 78. Wellens, Shackman on the attack. Not too worried about those guys again. But now Alaphilippe on the attack. We're very lucky to have Brambia still here. As you see, a few more guys out the back. 4k to go. And I think I'll try something. I think I will. I think I will. Richie Port on the attack in La Vuelta Espana. The plus out the back, along with a bunch of other guys. Right, let's go 80 now. Okay, we're seeing... Oh, God, we've got 10 riders at the front. Let's sit up, let's sit up. Bilbao now attacking. Toward against. Thanks for the follow, my man. We're in a tense part of La Vuelta. As Nairo Man going out the back. Quintana is gone. Shackman is gone. Caruso, God do. Port looking pretty strong here. 2.3k to go. We've got Bilbao, Tim Wellens is here, my words, Roglic and Ala Philippe. And we're just drop, getting dropped by them, but hopefully we can come back in the final kilometre. Yeah, hey, Tord again. 1k to go. Bilbao now struggling, and I think we're going to get third here. I think we're going to be behind Primoz and Ala Philippe. But it's a late surge by Richie. Can we come through the middle? Oh no, it's going to be heartbreak. It's going to be heartbreak again. We're going to miss out on the stage. But a great performance by Port right there with Alaphilippe, Roglic, Richie in third. Oh, it's so close. Oh, so, so close. I thought we had that one, you know. Bill Bow was fourth, Wellens fifth, and there are some massive gaps here. Chackman's going to be two minutes down. Quintana's going to be over two minutes down. Nairo Man's really struggling at this race. God do. And there you go. So close to the stage, but you've got to be happy with that with regards to the GC, I think. So Philippe is looking good in the mountains at the moment. 76 mountain. Ahead of Roglic and Port. And yeah, you can see the rest of the guys well down. So we're still third. Roglic 51 seconds down. But you can see the gaps behind us, uh, behind us have opened up massively. Bilbao fourth, Shackman fifth. He's having a good race. 
Nairo disappointing in sixth. Anyhow, back into La Vuelta, stage 10, and we have an individual time trial. Potentially good for Richie, but definitely good for Roglic. Okay. Okay, let's get into it. See what we can do. Richie Port gets a minus day, minus one. Going to be tough for us with Roglic hunting us down. Oh, my words. So we're going to lose time today. I think that can be pretty much certain. It's just about how much. It's just about how much. And Richie just coming into this first time check. Let's see where he goes. Two hundred meters to go, and we're down in thirty-first position. Hmm, not good. Rambeer at the second time check. He is now up to twenty-ninth. But Bilbao was third at that first time split. Shackman fifteenth, Quintana thirtieth. So we're behind Quintana, I think. We're behind Quintana. Roglic has the best time, and Ala Philippe seventeenth. So not a good time for Ala Philippe. Roglic and Bilbao looking very strong. Very strong indeed. As Richie Port is having issues getting caught by Primoz Roglic here. Damn. Bilbao is looking insane here. So Port, second time check, uh, second time check as Brambia crosses the line. Where does he go? The Valiant 18th place for the Italian and Richie Port. Deary me, we're down in 30th with Richie. It's going to be a really poor TT here. I'm going to get jumped by Bilbao, maybe others. And Naira Man will finish in 35th. Let's at least try and beat that because we have to try and beat that. Chapman 5th, good time for him, as you'd expect. Bilbao looking good at the moment. Let's see where the Spaniard goes. We're so far behind. Bilbao goes first at the moment and he's going to overtake us in the GC for sure. Push it now with Port. Try and stay ahead of Roglic at least. This is so embarrassing, man. 99 to the line. Come on, Richie. Push it. Push it. We end up 16th. Okay, it's not too bad. I think we recovered a bit, but Roglic takes the stage. Let's see where Alaphilippe goes. I think we could have just held on ahead of Bilbao. Alaphilippe ends in 12th. Okay, I think we recovered there. Port ends 18th on the day. Could have been... A lot worse, I would say. So, big Primoz Roglic takes the stage. Bilbao, so good in second place. Kanga, very, very good as well in third. And we do drop to fourth, just behind Bilbao. And Roglic just overtakes Alaphilippe. You can see Shackman fifth. And yeah, I think we're happy with this GC so far with Port. But Roglic is going to be so tough to beat from here. He's very dangerous, Alaphilippe. I'm not counting him out. And we start today with a hilly one. Extreme, let's get into it. So 15 have now joined up, four minutes clear. We've got Brambia, Aaron Buru. I mean, you can see the group, Kanga, it's a very good rider. So some pretty good riders here. Yeah, I'm a big fan. Um, I'm a big fan of Dagen Kolb. Those of you, I think I mentioned it the other day, but Trek are probably my favorite team in cycling. So I do know a little bit about some of the riders and or at least see them on Instagram and stuff. And uh, Big John definitely is a great guy, that's for sure. Okay, 2K to go. Let's be wary. one5 k to go. Still no attacks. It's a very steep one. Here we go. I think they're going to up the pace now. Still no attacks, obviously on this very tough gradient. Okay, here we go. We'll go 99. It does flatten off, so we can maybe go now with Gianluca Brambier. We'll see if we can take these uh, KOM points. Kanga challenging us, though. Oh, and Lastra got them, actually. We're still first, but we got only two points there. Not too bad, though. You can see the pace very high now in the, in the peloton. 1 minute 30 now. Yeah, I think tank. I think it as well. I think it as well. And that is what I hope PCM will work towards. Obviously, FM is so in-depth these days as we're getting blocked off so badly. Oh, my word. Okay. Um, obviously, FM is so in-depth right now. It's PCM, we can't expect to get 
to get to that at least in the near future. But I think one day a lot of the stuff that is in FM would be great to see in PCM for sure. So Brambia is gonna get, I think, I think we got first. Yeah, 31 points. A few more points at least for, uh, for Brambia here. Everyone okay in the peloton. Muschetti is struggling a little bit. Actually protects Matteo Muschetti. So we're coming to the top. I'm just gonna, didn't mean to pause, but Brambia is going to be able to challenge for these points now as we have an attack. Let's try and follow Tanel Kanga. Mm, it's going to be difficult. We're set up in his wheel. Actually, no. We'll let him go. We'll let him go. Follow Frank instead. And it's a second cat climb, so there are five points available here. Let's try and sprint now with uh, Gianluca Brambier. We're going to get second, I think, behind Kanga. Or worse. But no, in the end, we do get second place. That is fine. Back in the peloton, you can see it's a struggle for John, John Dagenkolb here. Pace really high still with one more climb still to go. Conchi is struggling as well. Wow, what a tough stage this is right now. So Brambia is still up the rows. One more climb to go. Let's try a little attack, shall we? Actually, no, we'll work together. Work together if we can. They're now attacking though. We'll just pace. 78. And we'll go up to 75 with ports. Final real effort for Big John to get over here. And I think he will do it. George Bennett setting a very high tempo right now though. Come on, Brambia. We'll have to go 80, 88 even. Look at this tempo. It's really, really tough. I think Dagenkolb will be, will be okay. Try and move up though. Come on, Gianluca. Try and take the points as well. It's all happening in this race now. Madawar on the front. Rambia has dropped everyone bar Tanel Kanga. We'll try and sprint for it as well. And we get the points. And we're just going off the front as well. So Brambia looks like the strongest man in the breakaway. And in the peloton, down to 39, even less, under 40 riders now. And we'll stay with these three guys here. Conchi struggling, but that's okay. Right. Interesting situation now with Brambia still up the road. Yeah, Hagrid, it's, it's a tough one because at his best over the past years, we know how good he is, but the past few years, uh, the past season, he's been struggling, hasn't he? So I think it's probably fair. He's gone down a lot. He was at like 82 or 83 mountain for a little bit, wasn't he? But I think it's, I think it's okay. So we'll stay out front with Brambia, 62, 65 even. Yeah, it's tough. Obviously, we know how good he is, like I say, but he hasn't been that good recently. And the World DB is based on recent results, basically. So you have to have good recent results. Otherwise, you get up, go down quite quickly, I found. So 20, oh my word, 24 riders in this group. There's Haig, Martin, Woods, Sivakov in this group behind. The whole Ineos team, basically. And Brambia is going to have to sit up. We'll have an extra helper now. Right, so Conchi can now pace on the front. Brambia can protect Ports and Big John. I think we're looking okay right now. 28 in the front. We do want to keep as many behind as possible right here. Sagan's still here though. Man, that's going to be difficult. Philippe as well. Michael Matthews is still here. Jackman's a decent sprinter. So it's going to be difficult, guys. That's for sure. We know that though. So Conchi is now done. A few guys coming back on, sadly. You need to be aware of that downhill finish. Right, I think I'm going to try and attack right now. Gianluca Brambier is going to try it again. We'll see if they let him go. And we can just sit in now, obviously. They do chase him now. Okay. 
Uh, can we protect? No, too late probably. So I think Brad is going to be caught. Maybe a silly move. But we'll make them do the chasing. Gordu now attacking. We'll follow. We'll follow. Oh, it's a big attack by Tim Wellens. Okay, we'll get in Brad Beer's wheel. Come on, Port. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh no, a few riders have gone right here. Port is struggling somewhat. So 5k to go. It's 19 at the front. Oh, Dagan Cobb's going to have to attack. Mm, really don't know how to play this. Alaphilippe and Wellens are now gone though. Right, John's going to have to do this himself. Into the downhill. Wellens and Alaphilippe have a slight lead. We can sprint fairly early, I think, because of the downhill right now. Right, come on, John. We're going to have to go for it right now. Dagan Kolb is going to go for the sprint. Have we left it too late, though? I think we've left it too late again. Come on, John. Sagan's coming, though. Oh, Alaphilippe's going to get it. We miss out again. Should have followed them. Third place with, with Big John. Damn. Damn, guys. 17 in the front though. At least Port got the end because he was struggling by the end of it. So Solaire, Haig has been dropped. Yeah, that was that was difficult for sure. We'll get Vakoc, shall we? We'll go for Vakoc. I'll probably screw up the transfer. But we'll try and sign Vakoc. I think that's a good good move, guys. Happy with that. Yeah, we'll go for Vakoc. Okay, we can't get Vakoc. <laughs> We've got no points available and he's, he's the only rider here with one point. Isn't that typical? <laughs> so that's decided, isn't it? I don't believe it. <laughs> Vliegen's got none. Oh, dearie me. How embarrassing. Yeah. <laughs> that is funny. Unbelievable. That is unbelievable, isn't it? Anyhow, we'll, we'll try for this guy. He's very well-rounded. He can climb. He can, he can ride on the cobbles. Okay, he's happy with that. I'm happy with that as well. We're flying, guys. We're flying right here. Transfers. Look at that. No hesitation. He signs the contract. Let's get into the next one. More hills. More chances today. So we'll protect ports. Dagan Kolb again has another, he's got another chance today. If they let him go in the break, we're looking good. Let's see if they do. Maybe with Kirsch to help. Let's see if they let John go in the break. That could be his best chance here. Muschetti has gone. He's not going to challenge today. That's fine. This is so tough. 51 riders in the, in the peloton already. My word. Look at the tempo as well. So Dagan Kolb has now been caught. We do have a few riders left from that break. But he's got plenty of energy still. So that's fine. Look how, look how selective this stage is going to be. Yes, again in this Vuelta Espana. I mean, Mike Woods is done on, on a hilly stage. We're fourth. 1 minute 47 down. Roglic and Alaphilippe one second apart. And we're just behind Bill Bow, so it's all still to play for. We've looked good in the mountains. We lost most, most of our time in the time trial. So, um, yeah, hopefully we can stay with uh, the other GC guys in the mountains going forward again. So we're doing okay. We're doing okay at the moment, I would say. <laughs> Glad you like it, TCM. I didn't know what to put again. thought I liked uh, that picture of... Julian was good though, so we, we went with that. Glad you like it, mate. Right, 2k climb. Let's absolutely fly up here. Potentially too fast. Yeah, Jonathan, I'll try. It's a very, I mean, Conchi's gone. But obviously he's now done. John's struggling a little bit with the tempo, but I think he'll be okay. 
Right. Can we stretch this group? Can we stretch this group? John's struggling with this pace. We'll lower it to 84, but I do want to try and drop Sagan. There he is. He's still here. He's too damn good. He's way too good. Right, 6k to go. I could attack on this downhill, you know. With Gianluca. That's what I'm going to do. We'll attack with Brambia. We may have it this way. We may have it this way. We'll stick here. And I think Brambia is looking pretty good right now. 3k to go. Go up to 99 now as well with Big John. I'll start sprinting, but I think Brambia looks pretty good right now. Two take stage 12 and our second stage win. Gianluca Brambia is going to get the stage win. You love to see it. You can enjoy that. What a win right there. Dagan Kolb, oh, he would have won it, I think. Oh, he got third again. Lost to Alaphilippe yet again, but it doesn't matter because Gianluca Brambia takes stage 12, our second stage win of the race. You love to see it. Cheers, guys. Yeah, I could have, I could have held on for Big John, but Brambia is a good downhiller and the chance was there. No one was going to chase us, so we'll take that all day long. We'll take that all day long. Very happy with that for sure. Yes. Los Machucos. I think that's how you say it. That's how they say it. That's how they say it on, on a British Eurosport anyway. So we'll go with that. And it's a massive one in the GC. Let's get it. It's all about Richie Port today, I would say. Ah, I see Jonathan. Okay, okay. I saw, I saw you could edit emoji. I didn't actually know what it meant. I thought it meant like change it to a different image or something. I guess just reverse it and stuff. Okay, okay. I see. It all makes sense. So 35k to go. We're on this penultimate two climbs. And then it is Los Machucos. And the pace is quite high. Well, I say quite high. It's not turtle speed, but some of our guys struggling. Quite a few guys struggling. God do is close to the back. Good job, Kirsch. He's done. And there you go. Uh, muschetti has gone as well. No surprise. What a job by him to stay here that long. Right together again. So, okay. We now have four riders in the front. Dagan Kolb and Conchi can protect Rambira and Port for now into that final climb. No worries, Lobas. See you, mate. Hope you've had a good time. See you later. We're going to wrap up the stream after this uh, stage, guys, for those of you that don't know. Let's try and end it on a high, though, with ports. Plus two day. Come on, mate. All right, here we go. Rambia is so strong at this race, man. 78 mountain today and 79 hill. What a rider. I'm going to try and go times one, I think, from now pretty much. As Gamai, Luke Rowe out the back. Tough stage again. So I should have come much further forward, but I focused on retaining energy as Port is getting blocked. It's a terrible start to the, to the climb. I should have come way closer to the front. Anyhow, we're going to try and take it at our own tempo because it's so steep. At the front, Nairo Man trying something, I think. Let's go like this. I think we're okay. I think we're okay. Mm, yeah, it's difficult. Difficult with these guys. Oh, dear. We're getting blocked terribly by bloody Mark Soler. Right, Brambia is going to have to wait for port. Not going well. I should have come way closer to the front. That's for sure. Anyhow, we're going at our own tempo. 5k to go. Up the road. Bilbao is attacking. He is so strong at this race. But this is going to be a terrible stage, I think. For us. Try and go steady. We'll try and go steady. Narrow road, not helping at all. We're just getting blocked absolutely everywhere. 
Pam, man. Right, 4K to go. Really difficult, really poor performance at the moment. Bilbao looking strong, and I think we're going to lose time in the GC. Yeah, TCM. Yeah. Maybe a poor move for me to say that. Let's see if they can, if they're a bit better at going through riders, which they are. Oh boy. Common port. Oh, Brambia just getting blocked by every single rider. As can, okay, okay, we're going to pass Quintana. Bilbao is so strong. He's attacking again. So we're going to overtake Quintana, but we're going to lose big time to these guys. And it's probably my fault for uh, not being at the front. It's a bad stage, really bad stage. Oh, dearie me. <laughs> yeah, Pixel. Right, we come 10th. We lose time to Alaphilippe, Roglic and Bilbao. I think we'll stay in 4th, but terrible, terrible stage. So, Van Bala takes the stage. Bilbao takes time on Roglic and Alaphilippe. And we lose a minute to those guys at least. A minute and a half to Bilbao. We gain time on Quintana again, who's really struggling. So, we stay 4th. We're now 3 minutes down. It's not ideal, it's not a, an ideal end, but we've still got a big gap to Shackman and uh, Tim Wellens, so not too bad to be fair. I think we're looking okay. Alaphilippe's still in red, and hopefully we can get closer to them later on. I think my voice is starting to go slowly. So we'll round it out here. I hope you, you've enjoyed the stream. I hope you enjoyed the World Cup, those of you that were there. Sorry about that terrible ending, but... We'll make up for it. We'll get a win with Dagan Cole for sure. And uh, plenty more chances for Richie Port for sure. Stage 15. Stage 16. I mean, some crazy stages at this welter. So plenty more chances. Hope you guys enjoyed it today. Thanks for coming again. Massively appreciate it. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one.